Hey, hello everyone, and uh, thank you for watching our felting tutorial. What we're going to do today is show you how you can fill a space um, nice and evenly without having an excess of fiber, and how you can get nice and close to the lines as well. So one thing you're going to learn pretty fast with felting is that a little bit of fiber goes a long way. And when you take a look at this, this doesn't seem like it's a lot of fiber, but it is significantly too much um, when it comes to filling this space. So what you want to do first is just hold some of the fiber with one hand and then pinch a little bit from the top and gently pull it away. And these little strands are what we're going to do to or use to fill in the space. So what I like to do first is grab, oops, grab a little bit of the fiber and then stab it right into a corner. You want that starting point. And once it's secure, then I like to take the tip of my needle and sort of glide along the edge of the space you want to fill in and slowly stab your needle in to secure that fiber, sort of framing the space that you want to fill in. You don't need to try to go fast. You can just go at a nice leisurely pace. You wanna make sure that, that it's nice and defined before we start filling it in. And then you can see like my fiber is not going to extend past that. So then I'll just go to the other side and fill in along that line. And when you're grazing your needle like this, make sure not to add a lot of pressure. These are really, really thin and they do break quite easy. So gentle hands prevail when it comes to needle felting. Um, also, when it comes to the amount of fiber, I it's sort of a rule. You, it's easy, easy, easy to add more if you need it, but taking fiber away is next to impossible. So just little tiny bits at a time. So with this one, I'm gonna stab it right in this corner so I can get the back end of the hummingbird here. And if you've got a little spilling over the edge, just get it back into the space you want to fill. And there we go. So with the excess, just use your needle to direct it into that space. I like to do this kind of twirling motion to control it because the fibers do go kind of everywhere. And once you've got it contained, then you can start stabbing with some speed and filling in that part of your image. And if you need more, again, just a tiny little bit. If the strands are a little too long, you can even separate it again. Pop it there. Give it a one good stab to sort of fix the fiber to where you're wanting to fill in. And then again, go to town. And that's how we paint with fiber.